she be an angry bitch. She just wants power over your money. I'm an average for an angry. Mother and I, um, just took the two dogs for a walkie walk for 40 minutes. I convinced my mom to go around the way that she sometimes goes around, sometimes just isn't up to it or whatever. She's below 160, you know. Once she's below 160 pounds now, she's thrilled to death. Because I, I, I buy healthy stuff and I cook it and I, you know, we eat healthy and. I just, she just proved my point of what I said in the other video. I have to do this now. I have to fight this now. I have to hire a lawyer now. All my mother's, all my mother's faculties are still intact. And she can sit down in a sequestered, you know, when Mary can give the evil eye, you know, in a private, and talk privately with, you know, with lawyers and judges and whatnot, and social workers, I mean, whatever you can think of, and answer their questions honestly. She doesn't remember all this bad stuff Marianne has done to her over the years. She doesn't remember the bad stuff Marianne has done to her, let alone the bad stuff Marianne has done to me. She didn't even remember what her friend told me is true, when it can be proven. I mean, I can ask my mom's lawyer, but I know that my mom's friend wasn't lying, you know? And my mom vaguely recalls, she doesn't even remember that, I think my mom even told me, but my mom's friend said it too, that, um, see, Marion's been really nice to her lately, and my mom forgets all the bad shit Marion's done to her in the past. My mom told me, remember, this is supposed to be that my mom has given this person, my aunt, power of attorney over her to help her out and take care of, you know, not Mary and playing God. My mom told Marion that she needed more money, that my mom needed more money to live off of, that what Mary was giving her every week was not enough for my mother to care for herself adequately and for her dog adequately. By the way, Marion also said, my mom doesn't remember this either, um, told my mom at one point, you know, you can't afford a dog. You can't afford it, you know. Mean. My mom needed more money to take care of herself and her dog adequately. Marion refused. Um, my mom was all upset. Apparently, my mom's friend, I don't care for my mom's friends, but, you know, they have a ton of mental problems, you know, but what do you expect when my mom's mentally ill? But in any case, my mom's friend, I guess, urged her, you know, and my mom's other friend who I had a falling out with, you know, uh, told me that this other friend urged my mom to go to your lawyer and demand to tell him, you know, to explain the situation, he need more money, and Marion is refusing to give it to you. Well, guess what? My mom went to that lawyer, and instantly the fucking cunt, my Aunt Marion, gave my mom more money. My Marion plays God. My mom is forgets all this bad stuff that Marion did, but I remembered all. My mom used to call me up in LA and tell me all this shit, okay? Remember, I have written down in detail. Granted, it's in a storage unit 3,000 miles away from here, but you know, if push came to shove, I'll fly there and get it all. Marion's being nice now. And my mom forgets all the bad things Marion's done. You know, my mom's a good, forgiving person. My mom's gonna forget. But come on, Marion showed her true colors just last week when she thought that I might be influencing my mother in the slightest way to stand up to Marion in the slightest way. Marion said about me, she's a conniving bitch. She just wants power of your money. I'm gonna have her thrown out of there. End of story. Case closed. She showed her true colors. Not that I'm surprised. I was not surprised. I, I told you guys from day one when she hugged me and was like, and said, can we just forget we were mean to each other? This is not, we were ever, this is not a fight we had, Marion. This is you being fucking evil towards me. You can prove mean to each other. She's
showed her true colors the minute my mother, with my encouragement, said boo. It was a test, and she failed. My mom failed, too, because when push came to shove, the minute Marianne got upset, my mom backed down and was all upset, and we shouldn't have done it, Lord. This is ridiculous. I have to fight this new one. My mother's practice days are still intact. I told her when we were out walking the dogs, I said, Mom, you don't even remember such a touch. You don't remember... But when you weighed a lot, my mom's under 160 now, she's 159, 158, but she had bloomed all the way up to like 19 or something. And when she weighed a lot, she went to my Aunt Marion's their place for Thanksgiving like she you always has done and I used to do a long time ago. And Marion's husband was making fun of my mom. Stomach. This poor woman has been sectioned for times in less than a year on influence, you know, section because of your wife, and you're going to ridicule the poor woman because she's happy now, you fucking asshole. No wonder you and Mary, you you belong with each other. My mom doesn't remember that. My mom doesn't remember her. I do. She called me up in LA and told me. She told, told, tells me everything. She's been telling me everything. But she remembers none of it, and I remember all of it, and it's so frustrating. Time to get a lawyer's now. My mom's not getting any younger. She's on a daily cocktail of three potent psych meds. With Cipridone, Depakote, and Prolexin. I have to get a lawyer now. Only... I have every right to. This house... It's not Marion's just because the only reason my mother has this house is because Marion helped her get it. That doesn't make it Marion's. Maybe in her warped mind it does, you know? She's a canary bitch. She just has the power of your money. I'm gonna have her thrown out of there. She showed her true colors, didn't she? Immediately. Oh, she apologized to my mom the next day. And my mom's like, well, she apologized. She's sorry, Laura. I don't give a fuck, Mom. I'm not you. As far as I'm concerned, Marion committed actually a crime to make it look like I'd committed a crime, you know? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why she would declare as far as the gym and charges you had made on your own credit card when I was visiting. But the only thing I can think of since it didn't amount to that much and you weren't going to, like, go bankrupt or something. The only thing I could think of she did it to make it look like I had stolen your credit cards, just like when you got out of the hospital, she lied to you and told you I'd stolen three thousand dollars from you. She's not a good person. I don't care if she apologized. She showed her true colors. The instant my mother said boo to her, okay? I'm the fucking child. I'm that woman's only child, her sole heir. She wants everything to go to me. I'm not after her fucking money. I'm not after her money. I'm simply out to protect my rightful inheritance from, uh, sadly, from my mother's ignorance and trust of my aunt, who has not earned either my mother's trust or especially mine. I have every right to. Only somebody just insane would say I don't have a right to fight this. Let me just let Marion drag my character through the mud. I don't care. I'm not going to lie about anything. She's going to say that I'm crazy and that I believe Jack Kroger loved me. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't change the fact that my mother didn't know what she was signing in the year 2000.